So part three, welcome back Curse of the Chupacabra. This is just a play test and this is going to be our last session. Um, and then we'll see what happens in the future when the actual product comes out. Last time we played, you guys actually fought a monster and killed it because you just got the better of it rather easily and beheaded it and carried the acid dripping head into the farmhouse, took a rest and dawn has come. What are you guys doing now? Um, well, we're going to go back to the Merchants Guild, weren't we, to uh, take the head and show it off, get our money. But I think we're probably being a bit naive and thinking that this is it, this is the end of, yeah. the, uh, of the thing. And I think that's very fitting for all our characters. Yeah, lads, let's uh, let's get back to uh, get back to that farm and get our money for capturing this creature. So as you were uh, getting on your horses and that, you look to the west and you see words in the sky, and they're they're made like smoke signals, um, but it's it's words, and it says, "Adventurers wanted, trotters welcome," and then it says, "Viper sail," and then. Fireman. What? <laughs> That's the most That's random hard. collection of words in the world. That's far off on the next the next farm west. Oh, where are we? Fireman. Does, does any of you lads remember which which way the uh, the mine was? I don't know. It's east and then north at the crossroads, that dodgy crossroads where you went to that town. Oh, you know, like, with that oh, story yeah. where did your little search of last time? That's the crossroads, and if you go north from there, the, the fell mines are up there. Oh, yeah. lads, do you fancy? Thanks for the voice in my head for saying that. But th do you, lads, do you, th do you fancy uh, going down to the mines? I, I do kind of miss them. I don't think we have much better to do. No, I'm mean, going to report this head of this creature that's probably going to terrorize yeah. and destroy this town. But I don't think I think we should settle down in a mine, see what we can find down there. Yeah, I don't really. Uh... I don't see how Viper Sail Fireman will can have anything to do with us. So yeah, exactly, just all like an advertisement. So yeah, uh, should should we go to the town center or to Sunnyside Farm to get our money? Uh, well, if Sunnyside's on the way, I suppose we can make a detour through there and then go down and then make the crossroads, go to the mine, and then go to the really? Merchants Guild. I'll show you a map because you're obviously a little unclear. One was the town you started in. Number two's where the guy was building the stone. Number four's Sunnyside Farm. Three's, well, it's not on the map, but it's that shop that on the, yeah. not much. And then up there is the Fell Mines. Number eight. We've not heard of nine yet, I don't think. No, I don't think so. So, yeah, the, the seven is where the smoke signals are coming from. You're at six. Yeah. Well, I think we should go up towards the Fell Mines, get our, get our luxuries and then come back down. We should probably get our money from. Oh yeah, let's get our money too, lad. Let's get our money from, from Sunnyside Farm first. Then go to that little shop and see if we can. We can buy any bits. You get on your horses. Yeah. And let's head early morning dawn. The, the heat's not too bad as you trips across the countryside. You get to that town. Are you stopping at the town, or are you going straight through Thorn Creek? We'll just go straight through to the farm first, right? Yeah. You hustle straight through and. Um, get to Sunnyside Farm, and yeah, you uh, meet up with the farmer. Ah, oh, hello, guys. Right. Uh, I, I mean, I'm assuming we brought the body with us so we can prove it. We've not just... Sure. Yeah. Here's the head. Yeah. Play out my chest. Oh, whoa, what's that? Uh, that's what's been taking your sheep. And um, we probably think what's uh, mulled out your, your, your boar and uh, start eating that. Well, I've never seen anything like that before. Oh, well, it drops acid. Look, <laughs> I just pour it over. Whoa, it's singing my crops. Careful. Yeah, it's burned everything. It could go. go invisible as well. Cough up. Uh, yo, yes, of course. You want your payment? Wait, wait one moment. Yeah, hold a hundred gold each. Yeah, and he hustles into his house and says, "Here's a little extra for you. A hundred gold each." Yeah, well, didn't we agree 50? I've given you so I've given you 100. Oh, no, we, we, we agreed 100. I think the, the heat's getting to your brain. I don't think so. Hope that money's worth spending and my, my crops will survive from here on in. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you'll never have any ever, never ever have any kind of issues again. 
<laughs> yep, it's all done. Everything's finished. Where do you think this thing came from? I have no idea. Fair Not enough. <laughs> Good idea. Onwards yeah. and upwards. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So back to Bone oh, Creek Junction, and uh, there's the general store. Uh, he has everything on the normal shopping list on the PHP. Or I'm going to go in. Okay. Ching. And and Verna's behind the counter. Hello. Um, oh yeah. So I'm assuming you have health potions. Of course we have health potions, right away, over here, in this cabinet, and he opens up a glass cabinet, and there's four red bottles of, oh, okay. you know, health potions. Yeah. Uh, I would like two of those, please. Yes, yeah. get some uh, down for you, and uh, I'll be a hundred gold, son. Uh, okay. All right, all right, I'm going to okay, get a group, group huddle. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what, what can we do? To not have to pay him. He likes we trade, could, doesn't he? We could kill him. Well, that's not where I was going with that. <laughs> oh. Negotiate. We never gave up head. Does do, do any of you have any like tricking spells? I know you're all magic up. I don't suppose you could go like, ooh, give me this. I have command. <laughs> we could try that. Oh, I know what I could do. Um can I try and do a stealth check? first to yeah. cough and say it as you're coughing yeah just, just try and say whatever i need so that'd be stealth yeah for like a whispery cough yeah 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 <laughs> yeah i'm like coughing <laughs> yeah. <Not> out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 11 to stealth uh that probably shouldn't say but plus zero 11 so yeah uh an object no more than one foot on a side i'm assuming it's not that big mm. uh doubling the object's perceived value by adding illusory nourishes or polish to it or reducing its perceived value by half with the help of illusory scratches dents and other unsightly features anyone examining the object can ascertain its true value with a successful investigation check against your spell save dc yeah i make it look cheap and crap yeah i don't okay. know what that would look like for a health potion i'm sorry sam I'll have yeah. to put this, this one's gone off. I'll I'll sell you one of the other ones. Yeah, you know what? It's uh, it's I don't want to waste uh, a health potion. You know, I'll I'll just you know I'll 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 pay, I'll pay twenty five gold for it. No, so this this one will poison you. This is not good. It's it's useless. I'm immune to poison. I'm sure it'll be. I'm sure it'll be fine. Just I don't uh, I don't want to go wasting. I, I know what you all have spent so much money on this, and I don't want you to. Uh, look, look, sir, this thing is just going straight in the bin. And since you seem like such a nice guy, uh, I'm going to let you have this on the house. If, you're, if that's what you really want, you know, I don't know if you're a churchgoer, but me, son, I like to be resp respectful of people and honest. And I want you to take this as a gift if that's what you want. I don't need to make any money on it. I think it's gone off. I think it's dangerous. So, have a little sip and spit it out if you think there's anything wrong with it. But that's my little gift to you, my friend. I like making money, so thank you. <laughs> I was wanting two, though, so I'll still buy uh, one of the other good ones. All right. Yeah, takes your money, puts it in the cash register. Yeah, you, go. you got two, two health potions. Now, well, lad, we ah. have just saved this town of a great threat. And I put the head on the table. This isn't really much of a... What is that? Now, do you think? I, I've risked my life for your town and to, to save to save you all. And, my uh, town? Yeah, this little hamlet, a yeah. Shop. This isn't a town. Your area, where you are. <laughs> your, your zone. Your zone. <laughs> you know, it, presented, it presented a risk to you and your life. And, for, and for such a for such a for a hefty fine to 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 look after you, do do you think you could deal with me a free health potion? I'm sorry, you found some head at the side of the road. Oh no 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 no! This was once a creature of immense power. <laughs> I was stealing don't the care sheep. What that was? Where you got it, son? 
It was stealing the sheep. It was killing livestock. I know, dealing sheep. You well, will be. Hold on. Hey, well, you uh, you sell. Uh, you sell sheep. It's in my head center. What do you eat, lad? I think I think this would be a pretty good decoration. Yeah, someone probably pay some pretty good money for this. Pretty unique, isn't it? It's all bubbling on the bottom. But what do you eat? Yeah, that's the a steak. Eat. I'm a vegetarian. Why? Oh, you had to. <laughs> <laughs> so you won't be able to sleep comfortably. If uh, if this thing was still on the loose and it destroyed all the supply chains Why, of sheep, going to come and eat my blankets? No, you wouldn't <laughs> have any blankets left. <laughs> Why would that thing being alive prohibit me having blankets? Is it might steal you in the night. <laughs> <laughs> One of the blankets. I've done a great service to you and your town zone hamlet slash relative slash pets and i think you should give us give us a free health potion for that i'm sorry this is a this is a business my friend and you putting chopped off heads on my desk is not gonna change that right, okay. because he's in like they're having this debate can i try and make a health potion i mean it's up on a cabinet in a lot glass <laughs> <laughs> give me a give me a roll yeah um sleight of hand I guess with advantage, sleight of hand. Uh, with advantage, okay. Twelve. Yeah, you get. No one can see you going up there, apart from the <laughs> as the drawer opens, it, and he looks over. Why? What are you doing? As, uh, I, I retreat into my shell. <laughs> <laughs> that I've seen about enough here, boys. I'd like you to leave my shop. Oh, really? Take your <laughs> stupid head and your friend over there. Well, should we go to the felt mines? How about you, mushroom man? How are you doing in this heat? Uh, I'm okay. I would like to buy some poison for my arrows. Too late. Shop is shut. <laughs> Does anyone have disguised self? Just like, I'm a completely different mushroom shaped person. <laughs> Does anyone have a moustache? Uh, do you want to you want to try mushroom man? You might be able to slip in there. Yeah, we, we, you didn't really offend him, so I did nothing. I wasn't even in room. Exactly. Why are you going? Uh, Get your um, poison okay. for arrows. Uh, well, couldn't you actually just use the head? It's got poison dripping out of it. It's acid. It's gonna burn the arrows. Oh yeah, it's a good point. <laughs> well, how about you know if you're gonna go in there, Kibble, How about you um, while you're in oh. there, you may as well. Try and snag an extra health potion, you know. So, <laughs> this guy's on high alert. And, and just, excuse me, sir. Unlike those two, I would like to actually uh, purchase things. And what are you after? Some poison for arrows. <laughs> I'm more civilized. I'm going to buy my poison. <laughs> I'm sorry, son. I'm not selling to anything to you and your little gang out there. What did I do? You were with them. Right. For all I know, them two are out, out the back trying to sneak in to rob me or something. I'm sorry, but your clan, your little group, your friends, I'm not selling. Friends is a strong word. <laughs> friends is a strong word. We are temporary acquaintance. Well, come back tomorrow and I'll see if my temper's changed. Yeah. Well, did you get your things, Mushroom Man? No. It's racist. You must sell to Mushroom <laughs> I'm like, spin, like holding my axe, like <laughs> no one offends my friend like that. Yeah, to, to be fair, let's uh, let's let's leave this place before I do commit a crime. Yeah, let's get you out of here. Yeah. Okay, so it says on the in the book it's about two days hard travel north. So we'll skip through that. Been on the road for two days. Nothing out of the ordinary has happened. Nothing goes silent at any point. Nothing goes silent. No. Okay. Yeah, we have killed the evil. Seems so, yeah. This is, this must be just the, the conclusion. Yeah, this must be it. Yeah. It's the end. We're going to go in there and just say, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the credits to the get through. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The entrance to the mines is braced by large timbers that are now rotted. Multicolour mushrooms sprout from where the wood has split. The rest of the surface is entangled in ivy. The chamber where you step inside 
He first steps <laughs> inside, it's hot and the air is heavy and oppressive. The floor, walls and even the ceiling of this large dark chamber are slick with dew and most of the crevices are covered in fungus. Old broken tools and bent rusty nails litter the ground of this otherwise empty chamber. I do have a map. Okay, so yeah, there's um, like a train rail. Looks like there's a, a side building up to some glowing sort of fungus. Where do, where do you want to go? Whoops. Debris that... is piled up around the edges of this room and three half-filled mining carts line the far wall. As you enter, you notice an overturned wheelbarrow moving slightly. We're doing an investigation on the room. What's this room? What's this room say? This room is saying that it's where they keep the spare mine carts and odd bits of tools. There's a pickaxe on the floor. There's a barrel what has stagnant water in. And this wheelbarrow seems to have something underneath it. Have a look underneath the wheelbarrow. So you lift it up and what you see... Oh, oh. yeah, I know them. So, yeah, it's open mouth. It's coming up through the floor and... Do we have any crystals anywhere? It's trying to speak to you. Does anyone speak primordial? Believe no. it or not, no. It seems scared. It sort of retreats a bit and... I think they're like... really dangerous if they're, if they're angry at you. Pointing at its mouth. I think yeah, there's a on some food. We need to feed it gems. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try and calm it. Sing it a lullaby. You're on the little... <laughs> We get to gem food. <laughs> <laughs> it actually finds that quite soothing. <laughs> point into the point into its its uh, mouth like yum 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 yum. Uh, right, let's go on the hunt for some gems. Uh, give a bit of start in this room we're in. I mean, I guess if it were if it was already in this room, it probably would have found. Yeah. The gem thing. Try number five. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll ignore 11. We'll go straight to 7 then. We are playtesting. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you walk up to this area here, and um, this part of the mine is overgrown with a strange iridescent fungus. There are many fungi throughout the mines, but something about this fungus looks familiar. This fungus um, is like a, a, a solution for hangovers and aches and pains. It's basically a paracetamol. It's so common, but this is where it's harvested down here and it it glows. This fungus is reminding me of something. It's giving me, yeah. Oh, is it? In your backstory? Yeah, it's giving me some kind of... Oh, I need to just have a sit down for a minute. I knew we shouldn't come here. Wait, what do you mean? (laughs) This was your idea. No, it wasn't. It was your idea, Mushroom Man. You don't gaslight us. It was your idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, only you were coming up with ideas. I thought I'd, I thought I'd test myself and brave myself, but I'm not. I'm just still not brave enough for this. Maybe it's time to unleash your uh, your yeah. young man. If you need, if you need someone to talk to, I uh, turn around you and need... start to uh, unlock the chest. Oh. I have someone who can heal. Lads, I want you to meet Mother. I pull out my mother's corpse. Ah. This is my mother. She was a strong woman, kind, good. And all my family were. And we came across mushrooms and fungus like this. And we found them plentiful and they helped helped our entire society grow and become better. And then one branch of mushrooms and fungi we picked up quickly uh, changed that and uh, made us all ill. And I didn't touch the stuff. I thought it was dodgy anyway, but they, they got obsessed with it. And they just started turning into these monsters. I had to kill every single last one and I point to the neck of the mum and this is where I cut her neck clean I, I left it a little bit just so when I find someone who can re- reanimate her she can still have her head on 
do, do you guys know anyone who can make her alive again? I can't think straight because there's a corpse right in front of me, but I think there's probably something in the town, I'd imagine. You think? Who will make her alive again? The... Here's my clan. He is very powerful charming. Do you hear that, mummy? I said we could find someone to, to fix you. The head just goes out. <laughs> <laughs> so I get that this is a lot for you right now, Horace, but if you could maybe just pop pop your mum back in that box and we can carry on looking around the cave. All right, mama. Let's go back in there. Come back in. Yeah, you get back in your box, man. I don't be going anywhere, you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say talking does help. I feel a lot, a, a, a lot, a lot better for that. Thank you, lads. Have you ever maybe tried to like, uh, yeah, stop it smelling so bad? Decomposition is not good for resurrection. I mean, my mother smelled as it was like, <laughs> and she's a corpse now. She just got Sorry. added aroma of just horridness. Right. Yeah. Um. Okay. Fair enough. I was just maybe thinking you could make it less repulsive to everyone near you. Well, that's not my problem, is it? They shouldn't come near me. <laughs> You're correct, they shouldn't. Exactly. Yeah, that's uh, right. Let's never talk about this again. Um, shall we go find some uh, some of the stone that the man was talking about? Oh, no, we need to find these, uh, these crystal gems. This gems so, Ben, you get inspiration for your, oh, thank your backstory there. Well done. I'll go back to the uh, the zone and just. Actually, I'll, I'll bring some of the mushrooms and force feed it the mushrooms. If it turns into the monster we killed before, I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> mm. I don't think it does that. So the zone uh, doesn't like what you put in it. It starts to like pick it out of its mouth and spit almost. <laughs> Ungrateful! You were just starving. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> What else does it want? Giving it food. I'm assuming no one has like comprehend languages or anything. Uh, no. Well, if I if I've grown up in mines, could I do a history check? A natural twenty. I, I'll I'll do the big thing. I'll give it ten gold pieces. All right. Finally, it starts to make a more <laughs> like a satisfied noise. Eats it down right. and. Reaches out and sort of rubs the side of your head a bit, like as a thank you. Can I mean, scratch its head? And then pulls its wheelbarrow back onto itself. Oh. Now we've done we that, we can focus on trying to find this stone. I mean, yeah, that was just a thing that happened. All right. <laughs> yeah, so let's head over, see what else there there is. If, we, if we've checked out the mushroom bit, we could try following the rail, the railing track. Oh, yeah. Well, the mm. rail goes down past an overturned mine cart and down here you hear clicking noises and i see bl- oh clicking didn't that thing click it's mm. like a click clack it's like dog nails on um on a laminate flooring oh right i think that's Hello. Let, let's maybe try and do it stealthily oh <laughs> You hear a faint oh. clicking sound reverberating off the walls. It seems to be coming from ahead, somewhere in the darkness around the next bend in one of these rooms, yeah. I am rather sneaky when you want to be. I am not. 40. Okay, so you see what's called a hook horror. It's large and it seems to be blind. Okay, meaning it's got good ears. Yes. Yeah, probably have blind sense or tremor sense. Yeah. yeah. Um, it does seem to have smashed one of these crates and there seems to be like some semi-precious stones in there and bits of jewellery on the floor. I'm going to see if I can find a rock that I can throw to the other side of the cave. Oh, you find there only rocks are everywhere. You don't need to roll for that. Yeah, you throw it. Let's see. It's, uh, oh, 16. Yes, it hears that noise and starts to whack its hands and tap along the floor and comes out of that one room and goes towards your stone noise. So it's now out of that room. I'm going to try and sneak into the room. Yeah, you get in there, no problem. There's some barrels and like I say, there's bits of jewellery, 12 pieces of jewellery. And that seems to be where the semi-precious stones have come from. 
It's about 450 golds worth of, of jewellery and valuable. Yeah. I'm going to attempt to stealth. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll let with, you try first and I'll follow after if you do it okay. With disadvantage. Why? Because I have disadvantage against stealth. Oh, oh yeah, I'm wearing chin now. I completely forgot about that. I should probably write that down. Well, that's a four. <laughs> yeah, your chinky chink, you scrape along um, a, a boulder. And then I burp. Roll initiative, Lance. You drop your mother. Oh, uh, no! <laughs> you, you have a whiff of money and all of them just... Mine, 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 mine. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to fight. I'm just going to be grabbing money and running. <laughs> all right, Charlie, your two goals are first. A longbow. Yeah, okay. It's it. 18 damage. Yeah, pierces into its neck and uh, it obviously looks towards the direction that that came from now. Okay, and I'm going to try and move to another spot without making too much noise. It still seems to be following your noise, Horace. Uh, how far away is it? 30 foot. How far can I move towards it? 30 foot. I'm going to move 10 foot. Yeah. And then I'm going to throw my hand axe, aiming for its ear. Right, Nine right, damage right. on its ear. Wax into its side of its head. Right, so this thing has got blind sight, which means it doesn't have to see to know its area. So, Yog, you've got a time to act before it does. Uh, spiritual weapon. Yeah, range 60 feet, so I'm gonna, it's going to appear right next to it. I'm going to shoot my light crossbow at it. Okay, so a massive coin appears out of nowhere. Wax I, just I, just realized, I didn't even roll to hit with my spiritual weapon. Well, in that case, I'll take those 11 yes, back. Yes. It puts its 10-foot arms <laughs> crawling, like, whacking along the floor towards Yog. Is anyone next that's to it to make opportunity attack? That's a three, that's a nine. That doesn't find you. That's a 16. Has, no, Yog, you just, just goes past you. Um, but I'm, I'm assuming I'm now right next to it, though. Like, I'm yeah, but it doesn't know, you know, you've obviously just missed you. Yeah, you go to hit it, and it's got, like, a carapace on its back, a blue carapace, and you just miss the feathery section, the fleshy, fleshy section, and jab it so it knows exactly where you are from that attack. Horace? Um, I want to climb on it. Yeah, sure, OK. So you, you climb onto its back. Yeah, heave yourself. Yeah, mate. I get my uh, hand axe back and just whoosh, onto its head. Yeah, yeah all right. Uh, 23. Yeah, it's beautiful. Now I kind of like hold onto the axe as it moves and like, this yeah. is my steering wheel of where I'm going yeah, now. It's, it's like, oh, shaking off, shaking off. A uh, spiritual weapon is going to move. Is it within 20 foot of the spiritual weapon? Yeah. That's where it move, I think. Uh, roll to attack. 12. Uh, no. Wow, I am not rolling good. Uh, I'm now going... It's right next to me, so I'm going to hit with a miss. So it's long 10-foot hooks. It has two, two attacks. Plus six to a nat 20. <laughs> That's automatically 16. And then I roll these oh. two. 16 plus eight. Quite far. And it's second attack. Plus six, 11 plus six is 17. Perfectly what I want to hit you with. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 34 damage, Ben. I am down. <laughs> are, you, are you only down? Or are you, you, you're not dead, right? You just... No, he's not dead, dead. I'm just down. <laughs> we are level three. Level three, so. But yeah, these things just mash over the top of its carapace and. Whoa. <laughs> I imagine, yeah, you just fall right off. Still holding onto my axe and take a bit of brain out. Uh, I'll try and uh, stab it in the fleshy bit since the uh, carapace didn't work. Natural 20. Okay, it's down to uh, one less hit because it's lost a limb. <laughs> Is that another roll as well on the damage? Yeah, you roll another some more damage dice. Yeah, yeah. it's the dice though, not the modifier. But yeah, it's not yeah. but yeah, you've just you've just basically locked off one of its hooks. All right, yeah. So yeah, this thing's might have killed, knocked out your friend, but. Uh, so I wanna 
go up to um, Horace and try and pull him away. I'm not really going to try and be sneaky about it because I'm sort of hoping it's just distracted with its arm being ripped off. Yeah. So I'm gonna, you know, take advantage of this moment of weakness. Would I roll anything to that? I try and drag him along. Yeah, ro- let's roll um, a strength check. Yeah. 13. With the armour as well, you don't get very far, so the monster's going to attack you. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, it Jeez. swings at you, but misses you, Jake, luckily. Uh, well, I've seen it take a swipe, so I'm just going to attack it again, try and get more distracted. Well, my bonus action, my spiritual weapon can still hit. Yeah. And then I'm going to use my action to... Uh, feed him the potion. The the missing of the spiritual weapon, the coin like hits something in your direction, so it kind of gives away your position or hits on to you guys or mm-hmm. Horace's armor or something. So Horace waking up. <gasps> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, so that's a twenty against Yog uh, to hit anyway. Doesn't matter. I got a natural twenty anyway. Whoa. Of course you did. <laughs> Charlie gets Always two matches every game. It's just standard. I mean, not only is there no one here to verify. <laughs> <laughs> but even when there is, you still, like, yeah. you consistently get, like, 25s on initiative. And to be fair, Charlie normally does five pretend nat 20s just to throw me off. It's got to use its action to pull its its hook out of a boulder that it's got lodged in. 22 to hit. How do you want to do it, Ben? It's got one hit point. Uh, I chop its other arm off uh, with six damage and blood sprays all over my face and like this is no. the forge room complete with an anvil and a quelching station which is like where they put the like water bucket you know um, but what draws your attention is a horrid sight in the centre of the room melted ruination of a creature or several creatures lie on the floor its many arms outstretched and its clawed fingers curled. Its last moments of unspeakable agony are captured and preserved by the molten iron covering it. It has several faces, some vaguely human with animal features, others more grotesque and insect-like, all shrieking and grimacing. Behind the thing is a large mirror, like the one you might find in a noble's dressing room. It has been covered in soot, so no reflection can appear. It's seeming like they, they've they created the monster here. And this was like a prototype. Because did you say there were insect parts? Yeah, it's got multiple forms. It's just many things all at once. I'm just imagining the amalgamates from Undertale. Okay. Um, and it's been like covered in molten metal. And, and killed whatever it is it is dead but it's caught it's like last squirming grimaces and metal plated him essentially i'd like to go over to the mirror and okay. try and wipe some of the stuff yeah it's got soot on the mirror you want to wipe it off yeah try and clean the mirror because i'm seeing no red flags here yeah wiping wiping all out the mirror gives you a very strange sense that you are being looked at from through the mirror weirdly i'm gonna look at the reflection for anything that might be watching me it's almost like your reflection is also looking back at you with a more stern face than than you are you have on your face yeah, it kind of freaks you out. It's like it's almost like your reflection is another person. Try and trick it, try and do unpredictable things so it can't mirror your movements. I give it a wave. Yeah, wait, okay, wave's back. Uh, I immediately, halfway in the wave, slap myself. <laughs> and... <laughs> it, it does the same. What, what are you doing? Are you okay, lad? <laughs> <laughs> this mirror is strange. Have those, have those mushrooms infected you over there? It gives me the same feeling as when we were dealing with the creature. It was as if we were being watched. What have you tried uh, looking like? Can the mirror come off the wall? You do understand what a mirror is, right? Like, it's not... You know, it's, <laughs> mirror is yeah, like a dog getting angry at his own reflection. Sometimes people can be looking through mirrors like Feel like I'm taking my hand axe and giving it a good old tap. Um, so yeah, the reflection 
obviously gets out its battle axe and it goes to tap against the battle axe, but it's actually going to come right through and hit you. What's the damage a battle axe does, Charlie? 12, isn't it? Hand axe. Oh, hand axe. And I was doing a tap and not a yeah. swing. This one is going to swing at you, though. That's the difference. <laughs> oh, rude. What's the damage? Um, Six damage. All right, so that's six damage against you. And this thing, your reflection moves out through the mirror, steps out. Roll initiative. Okay. We're going to have to try and remember which one's which now. That's going to be the next. <laughs> yeah. So at the moment, it's got exactly the same stats as, as Kibble Gush. So I need sort of Charlie to uh, <laughs> play the, the bad mm. guy as well, really. Uh, I mean, I know which one just came out of the mirror. You do, though, you do yeah. So, uh, I mean, I'm assuming it's been a minute since my spiritual weapon. I don't think I would have just brought it along with me. So I'll do that again. Oh, will I? That'll use up another second level spell slot. I'll cast Inflict Wounds. 15 necrotic damage. I'm debating giving Horace another health potion. But I don't think I'm going to. Don't be giving I'm going to do something crazy yeah. that no other cleric has ever done and cast Bless. Oh. And then everyone forgets about it. Yeah, exactly. Bless, action, yeah. Um, up to three creatures of your choice within range. Uh, whenever a target makes an attack roll or saving throw before the spell ends, the target can roll a d4 and add the number rolled to the attack or saving throw. Yeah, so every time you make an attack roll or save, add a d4 to it. Hmm. Uh, for the next minute or until lose concentration. Right, it's um, monsters go. I want to grapple and I want to roll. What I want to do is roll about with kibble on the floor so that no one knows which one's which. Okay. You're evil. Natural one for me. All right, so I get you on the floor and we roll around in the dust and then we stand up and you guys don't know which one's the real one. Get him, he's there. But there'll be an axe sticking out one of them, will there? Okay. That I've not picked out and I hit the right one. <laughs> Damn it. So oh, I'm going to run up, get my axe back and go again. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Me. With 18 to hit and 8 to kill. 8 does not make it 30. Oh, it does, does it? Yeah. I mean to kill, it's meant to damage. But... 32, so you have, it's, um, the, the me, Charlie, has still got one health. I'm going to bring out my beloved friend, Pet Wee, Gregory. Hello, from town. You need not fight. Be peaceful. We mean your peace. Now your weapon. Okay, so roll. You need not. He's still going. <laughs> <laughs> roll of persuasion. With advantage, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm giving you advantage. I don't know how. I don't know how I'm helping with this, but I just feel like I should. Up like all good. I'll give you I'll give you inspiration for daring to do that craziness. Unfortunately, this thing cannot be persuaded. It is not of this realm and takes no interest in Gregory. Yog. What? Oh. Gregory's not of this realm. <laughs> He's omnipotent. <laughs> he is ascended. He's the, the the monster is reaching out to Gregory. Uh, but Yog, it's your go. Okay, I want, I'm going to protect Gregory with my life <laughs> um, and, and jump in there and smack him on my mace. 18. Yeah, okay. So it doesn't matter what the damage is. <laughs> yeah, you kill it. Yes. Yeah, when it dies, does it like disappear? Is it? Does it get Thanos snapped? Or like... No, no, it, it drops down and kind of changes shape. Um... It's it's half kibble mushroomy, but then it, it looks almost like it's basically a shape changer. It it, it copy obviously it copies you, and it goes it, through a few different things that it's copied over the years just before it dies, and then bits of it are in different you know part of it's like a mimic chest, and part of it's you know a dog leg, and it's just all different shapes. This is like the Rick and Morty episode with the parasites. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. When you kill them, they just turn into weird sacks. I, mean, I have another health potion, if anyone's fancying that. 
Um, I mean, if you're going to go spare, I don't, I'll, I'll take it off you, lad. Uh, yes. Okay. Here you go, Horace. Thank you. Uh, in, instead of using our limited resource, maybe we should use our magic resource. We still don't know if you're the real kibble. Bigger not have Gregory. I mean, I've given you your potion. Are you going to drink it? Or? Well, I don't want to use your supplies if this mushroom's going to do some magicalness. 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 That was some unnecessary syllables. <laughs> Highly melted. <Thank> you. <laughs> what? Highly melted from last week. Uh, here's your health potion back. Ah, thank you. Shall we mine this stone? What stone? The stone, that's why we're here. Why are you here? Oh, right. I thought you were like literally right here. So yeah, there's, uh, there's rocks about, there's empty mine car. It seems like the best thing to do would be to, you know, mine the stone and fill a mine car and then take it and follow this mine rail. Goes down to three and so on. And as you see, there's a, another building in the far distance. Uh, well, I say massive hole there, sorry. We'll follow the track to the building while mining and loading up yeah. the thing. Yeah, all right. Yeah, we'll just follow it along and go towards anything that takes a fancy on the way there. Yeah. Okay, I will, I will mention this. You probably go past the number four then here. It's greater. In fact... You go past the thing. Uh, the cramped mine corridor opens up to a stalactite covered limestone cavern approximately 100 feet across. The sound of dripping water echoes throughout, and the stalactites glisten if exposed to light. Along the floor here and there are tiny gems eroded out of the stone by water. So as you're moving through this room, Two orca jellies drop from the. Oh, God, of course they yeah. <laughs> Right, I'm rolling initiative. Probably I roll it's because I mean, if we could transfer some of these natural twenties over to the uh, other yeah. game, <laughs> I'll be in. I'd definitely take that. Twenty-five damage. What sort of damage is it? It is piercing. I think the spear. Oh, spear, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, spear is piercing. All right, it takes 25 piercing damage. And then it's the monsters, well, both monsters go. Ah, oh, they've only got, right. They've only got 10 foot movement, so, Jake, rolled for you. Pseudopod. From number one, it's 15, that's 15 plus four is 19 to hit. Next person, Jake again. Uh, 15 plus 4, so yeah, two pseudopods, one from each one. Nice. Um, okay. Do you take acid damage on top of bludgeoning? I do take acid damage. 27 damage? Yes. Yeah. I'm down at 24 health. Whoa, Yog falls down as two weird yellow ochre jellies. Uh, Yog, it's your first death save. Lovely. That's a nat one. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. This is how we're going to end it, is it? This is how this is going to be the final. My final act is going to be dying. Yeah. Horace. Uh, Horace. I'm going to swing You can help. It. Someone feed me a health potion. I have one in my pocket. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, yeah. I'm going to. speak. Oh, yeah, I can't speak, can I? Oh, the lad's fallen thought. down. Uh, I go over and I just like start slapping him. Okay. Getting hit by attacks is an automatic fail. <laughs> Wake up! Wake you up! Slap him enough to do one more hit, one more death save. <laughs> He's dead if you slap him hard. No, just uh, just slight taps of. Come on, wake up, lad! Yeah. Wake up! Uh, and then I feel the uh, health potion in his pocket, uh, and I uh, feed him that. Okay, that's your action. So what's roll him some health? I think it's two d four plus two. Ten health, lovely. You're awake, but you know the usual disadvantage. Kibble. I'm going to just stab them again. So I'm going to call them A and B so we don't get confused. But A is taking a lot of damage. I'm going to attack A again. Mm. Natural. There we go. 
You lose yes. your combat footing, exposing yourself to the enemies. The enemy has attack uh, advantage on the next attack. And it's it's the monster's go. So with this is not his finest, finest hour. With right. advantage, I get a natural twenty. Mm. So that's going to be twelve. That's fourteen before I roll. We're out of healing potions, Charlie. So <laughs> that's twenty-one. Then the na the acid is naturally six before I roll. That's twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. That's twenty-eight damage, Charlie. Um, half the acid. I can't. It's one, one acid. Yog, you're up, but not well. Oh, uh, I can't move. I have disadvantage on attack rolls, ability checks, and saving throws, and my hit point maximum has been reduced to 16, so I can't heal past that. Um, I... Is it, like, how... how is it in, is it next to me? If it pseudopodded yeah. me. Yeah, then. it can pseudopod you. Okay, I'm pretty sure if I hit it, then it's going to corrode my weapon, right? That's. I'm not telling you. I'm getting that vibe. <laughs> so I'm going to be really dumb uh, and do inflict it, that wounds. That didn't happen to Charlie's, did it? Right, well, hopefully it's okay to touch them. I'm going to do inflict wounds, which requires me touching it, if that. Uh, 11 necrotic. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that now. Um, I'm going to try and swing for these with my battle axe. Uh, 20, unnatural. Yeah, that hits. Are you going for number one or number two? Uh, whichever's the most damaged. A, A or B. A is, yeah. A. It splits into two. Oh, no. So there's... No, no, right. It's the, it's the double one, right? There's A, there's double A, <laughs> and there's B. There's A, A, B, and B. <laughs> There's A, Abba, and B. A, Abba, B. Abba. There is Abba. A, Abba, B. Ah. A, Abba, uh, uh, B. Kibble. I am going to disengage and move 30 feet back. A is going to lash. Oh, not good. It's now lowercase a and B. That's 12. Yes, yeah, so A and A. So A does not enough to get Jacob. And ah also does not enough. So Yog, come at me. <laughs> You're one less, one less uh, uh, exhaustion. Oh, uh, I think that means I can move now. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I'm already next to it anyway. I mean, I, I have range that so I can only move like ten feet. I think I heard. Yeah, ten feet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use up my final spell slot, which is a separate, the second level. And now I'm kind of, I can't cast spells anymore. To do spiritual weapon as bonus action, that's gonna uh, attack it. Yeah. So it's AC is it's AC is nine. Oh no, it's eight. I'm sorry, it's eight. Twenty two. Yeah. Uh, and then eight damage. Uh, kills it. You killed A. Okay. Now I'm gonna attack A with my yeah. mace. So I'm going to fall off. Uh, 13. So, yeah. yeah. And then 5 damage to that. You've killed A. Lovely. Now we've just got B. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it's flashing damage that makes it double my peeps. Just <laughs> so. Horus. Maybe try um, and it's slashing. Um, is it. Is it. Is it above a crater, you said? Is it? Is it? Uh, yeah, there is a well there. Yeah, there is a deep, a deep drop. <laughs> oh yeah, it is next. Um, to I want to try kick it into the into the drop. All right. It's goo. You can get your foot stuck in it. On arm strike. A it natural twenty. Ass. Natural twenty. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> kick it like a football. Four damage as I kick it as a football into the into the pit. Uh, sure. Why not? Yeah, um, you yeah you give it. A, it's like smacking a big jelly. Although your your boot does submerge, it slips back out, and this thing like yeah, snaps <laughs> over the edge. Yeah, there's a Wilhelm scream. <laughs> and that is the end of uh, the encounter and this part of the playtest. The end. Yeah. The end. Right.
we're at the what end. Did you, what did you uh, think of that all overall? It was good. Very good. I enjoyed it, yeah. I'm going to play more.